Wait, what's that I hear? The sound of quacking ducks in the middle of the forest? If you've ever walked along these trails in late March or early April and you heard that sound, you heard one of the most common amphibians in all of New England, the wood frog. Frogs are a small to medium sized frog species found throughout New England. They can be easily identified by the brown mass that extends from the eyes to the eardrums. Wood frogs are a terrestrial species, meaning they live on land and not in the water. They inhabit forests, swamps, and many other habitats. In the cold months, they hibernate beneath leaf litter or logs. As the air and ground begin to warm up in the spring, wood frogs come out of their burrows and migrate to vernal pools to breed, usually on the first warm rainy night. Wood frogs can migrate from as far away as one quarter mile, often crossing forests, fields, and even roads to reach the vernal pool, sometimes stopping to rest in puddles formed by the rain. The males usually arrive first and begin to make a chorus of sounds. Male wood frogs call to attract a mate. Each species of frog has a unique call. The call of a wood frog sounds like a quacking duck. It makes the sound by closing its mouth and nostrils and then forcing air from its lungs into its vocal sacs and then across its vocal cords. The males will continue calling, sometimes for days. At some pools, you can see hundreds of them swimming on the surface of the water. When the females finally arrive at the pool, the males join together with them in a pairing called amplexus. The male-female pair will stay together until they are ready to lay eggs, at which time the eggs become fertilized when released into the water. Wood frogs are explosive breeders and will breed over a very short period of time. They often lay their eggs in the same area called a communal egg laying site. Female wood frogs lay a single egg mass containing up to 1,500 eggs on an overhanging branch or plant stem. The eggs take about 20 to 30 days to hatch, in which time the embryo changes from a round black and white disc into a small tadpole. When the tadpoles first hatch, they hang out on the old egg masses while absorbing their yolks and starting to eat the algae coating the egg masses. Soon the tadpoles can be seen in large groups on the bottom of the vernal pool near the egg laying site and will begin to disperse throughout the pool over the next few weeks. Wood frog tadpoles are black to olive brown with gold flecks on the sides and tail. They mainly eat algae and detritus from the bottom of the vernal pool. The tadpoles can often be found in the sunniest parts of the vernal pool. The tadpoles undergo metamorphosis in about eight weeks, with hind limbs developing first and then forelimbs. By the middle to end of June or the first week of July, they are almost fully developed, looking more like frogs now than tadpoles. Soon their tails will be absorbed and they will emerge onto dry land to begin their life in the forest. These metamorphs are less than one inch long but look just like miniature adult wood frogs. They will reach maturity in one to two years, at which time they will come back to the vernal pool to continue the circle of life. Vernal pools are a special part of the New England landscape. We hope this program will help you to appreciate these habitats and the species that use them. Join us next time for another episode and thanks for watching.